Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Grinding Breach. Grinding Breach is a graveyard-centric combo deck that seeks to win with Underworld Breach and Thassa's Oracle. The combo works as such. You are looking to assemble Breach, Grinding Station, and an artifact that costs zero. You can sacrifice the artifact to station, milling yourself for three, which is exactly the amount you need for Breach to escape it again. You will eventually mill your entire deck, at which point you can escape Thassa's Oracle for the win. Roadblocks you can run into are if you don't have enough mono to cast Oracle or don't have enough extra cards in your graveyard for escape payments and can't exile necessary pieces, such as Oracle itself. Emery mills four cards, providing fuel for Breach, can do its best Lurus impression by returning Mishra's Bobble every turn for additional card draw, and allows you to tap Mox Amber for blue mana, which you need for Oracle. You can also tap Amber for red mana with Ragavan. If you only have Ragavan and not Emery when you start the combo, you can exile Jack-O-Lanterns from your graveyard to filter the red mana into blue. Dragon's Rage Channeler is a cheap way to filter your draws and mill over more fuel for Breach. Urza Saga creates tokens and finds Bobble or Amber, among other cards. Because the deck plays DRC, Ragavan, and Saga, along with cheap removal spells, you can potentially win via creature beats, though your primary path to victory is the combo. Sideboarding and how to beat it. Many pieces in the deck are critical to enabling the combo, but there are also many flexible slots, primarily removal spells and random one-ofs like Shadow Spear. The sideboard itself is mostly targeted against specific archetypes or used for protecting the combo. The combo uses the Graveyard, Breach and Grinding Station, and may require the use of Mox Amber with legendary creatures. Because of this, many different types of answers are potentially viable, such as Artifact Hate and Creature Removal, but Graveyard Hate is the best option. However, the best singular card is Chalice of the Void since it stops Amber Bobble Loops and negates EE as an answer. The deck is base blue-red, meaning it has a hard time answering enchantments like Rest in Peace, though Engineered Explosives will do the trick. Beyond that, the deck is inconsistent in its early turns and can take a while to set up, making it slower than other combo decks. It's also easily disrupted and doesn't have the same impactful threat and answer tempo plan as a deck like Murktide. Tips and Tricks if you want to generate additional mana with Mox Amber, you can use Emery to bring a second one back or sacrifice the first to Grinding Station. The normal tricks for DRC and Bobble apply, such as targeting your own creatures with removal to Surveil. Aether Spellbomb can bounce Emery to recast it for an additional 4 cards to fuel Breach or herself. Every artifact is potentially Breach fuel that Grinding Station can generate, including card struck tokens and treasures that Ragavan makes. Grinding Station triggers from any artifact entering the battlefield, including itself. You can play it, hold priority on the trigger, sacrifice another artifact, and untap it. You can play EE for zero even if you have no intention of using it for that value just to enable an early Emery or to use as Grinding Station fodder. If you play Oracle before your combo turn as a blocker or to scry, you can kill it with your own removal later to breach it back. Breach has a number of value plays besides just enabling the combo. You can bring back any of your creatures, recast Expressive Iteration, Mishra's Bobble, and so on. If you have enough to bin cards and mana, you can potentially win via escaping Lightning Bolt multiple times. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Grinding Breach. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.